the trajectory experiment. The purpose of this experiment was I wanted to find out if the trajectory calculated by dry fire was indeed exactly what was happening when I went to the range. So I had to come up with an idea of how could I prove at the range exactly how long it took for a high house target to arrive at the crossover stake. So I came up with the idea that I could use my own video camera like you might have and if I could stand next to the the skeet machine in the high house and video the release of a target and would I actually be able to capture the actual clay as it comes off of the arm. And so I did that experiment to start out with and I found out that yes indeed that was possible but only turned out that maybe about 25% of the time that I did it I would actually see the clay leaving the trap arm. So then I went on to the next step which was I decided how I could tell when the clay arrived at the crossover stake. I made a round board that filled the hole in the middle of the hoop. And then on the back side of that board I attached a microphone. I then ran a cord from that microphone all the way back up into my camera. The plan was I would stand next to the high house with my video camera turned on with my microphone on the back side of a board that was mounted to the crossover or the hoop. And so if I could catch a picture of the clay leaving the trap arm and then I could use the sound that would occur from the clay hitting the wood, I should be able to measure that time. And that's exactly what I did and I have three examples here of the clay actually you can see it as it leaves the trap arm and then you'll hear sort of a clunk and that clunk is actually what I could hear and the camera could hear uh, as the clay hit at the crossover hoop. Now let's watch that happen again. First you see the target, then you hear it hit the board. You see the target, it hits the board. And again, let's watch that sequence one more time. Next I would like you to see how long dry fire says it takes for the target to get from here at the house to the crossover stake. And then after we do that then I'm going to show you how I have been able to measure exactly how long it took at my club. So I'm going to do this by going over to the sidebar and I'm going to click and drag the target position and I'm going to drag this over until it's directly in the in the crossover stake right there. Okay now if I scroll in and take a look at that you can see that I am definitely there. And now let's take a look down here at what dry fire has to say. And notice down here it says that the time to get to the crossover stake is 1.09 seconds. Also if you look over here in the sidebar it shows you 1.09 seconds. And it tells you that the entire trajectory of the clay is 3.65 seconds. So remember that number, 1.09 seconds is what dry fire says it takes for the target to come off of the trap arm and make it to the crossover stake. Okay, now I've taken you into the Camtasia software that I use in order to produce videos. And what I'm going to be looking for is I'm actually going to be counting the number of frames from the time the target was launched until we hear the sound of the clay breaking against the piece of wood. This uh, system operates at 30 frames per second and dry fire as we had already learned says it should take 1.09 seconds for the clay to get from the trap arm to the crossover stake. One second and 09 hundredths and we have 30 frames a second therefore each frame represents 
three three hundredths of a second. So if we find that there are 33 frames between the time we see the clay and we see, and the noise comes back, then we know that the clay has been in the air for 33 frames, which would be 1.1 seconds. Looking down here on the timeline, here's, here's our counter. Here's the noise over here that we're going to, that this is when it hits the clay, it hits the wood. And we're going to be watching up here and counting frames. We're going to use this as our frame counter. And we're going to be watching up to see when the clay actually flies. I'm now going to move it to the next frame, to the next frame, to the next frame, next, 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 and there is the clay. So you can see that the time on my video is 2 minutes, 42 seconds, and the tenth frame is where we see the clay coming off the trap arm. Now I'm going to start moving that down one frame at a time until I get down here and I'm going to count how many frames there were until I get to this big sound of noise which we're coming up on right now and notice right there we're at the sound and what does it say in our frame counter? It says that we are 33 frames from where we saw the actual clay. That means we are 1.1 second as measured by the camera and our audio system. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move on to the next uh, event because remember I had three of these in a row. Okay, we've now moved on to the second place where we have this operation. So we're going to start counting frames from this point, which is 2 minutes 44 seconds and the 17th frame. That's where we're, we're now looking for and I'm going to advance that and we're looking for the clay streaking off of the trap arm. And there it is right there. This time we caught it just as it was at the window. Now look down here. We're, that took place on the 23rd frame. So 33 frames after that is what we're looking at to see whether that's really what it is. So it goes to 26, 27, 28, 29. And then at 30 it rolls over to zero. And then it, we keep on moving on down. And when we're going to go up here to the sound where we see the sound, which is right there. And notice that it is exactly 33 frames from where we started. Now I'm going to take you on to the final situation where we have uh, another clay coming out and another sound. So I'm going to put the starting point about right here. We're going to come up here and we're going to look for the clay coming off of the trap arm. So I'm moving it along. And there it is. So this is on frame 11. So if it's 33 frames, it should be, the sound should be on frame 14 of the next second. So I'm going to advance our way through here until we get down to the sound of the breaking clay, which is right there. And notice that it was exactly one second plus three frames are 1.10 seconds. And finally, I want to conduct an indoor test that will show you that the target travels from the high house to the stake in exactly 33 frames. In the following part of the video, you will find that the target begins on the left edge of the canvas and will cross the piece of blue tape on the right side of the canvas. The left edge of the tape is 67 feet from the trap arm and represents the center of the hoop. So we want to determine how many camera frames occur from the time it is launched to the left edge of the tape. Now that you've watched the target move across the wall twice, we're going to count the number of frames between where the target starts here on the left-hand edge of the canvas, which is the high house, and the left-hand edge of the piece of blue tape where the arrow is, which is the crossover stake. Notice right here that is 9 minutes, 15 seconds, and the second frame. That's our starting point. And we're now moving across the wall. 
one frame at a time. And when we get up here, we're going to stop. And there we are. So this is the ending point. And notice down here that it is 9 minutes, 16 seconds, and 5 frames. Or in other words, exactly 33 frames. Now let's go ahead and move on to the point where the next launch takes place. And here we are now, and this, this on the second launch, we are 9 minutes, 20 seconds, and 24 frames. So let's move our way across and see how many frames. And here we are at 9 minutes, 21 seconds, and 27 frames. Exactly 33 frames. So that brings to conclusion pretty much what I wanted to show you, that we have had a very accurate method of going to the gun club and actually measuring how long it takes for the clay to fly from the high house to the crossover stake, and then to verify exactly, and it was 33 frames or 1.10 seconds. Dry fire says it should be 1.09 seconds. And then we went ahead and we launched the target on the canvas indoors and proved that indoors it was also 33 frames are 1.10 seconds. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this.